Over the weekend, Ghanaian nurses have been in the news. Let's take a closer look at one country, Ghana. Medics there say the country's health system is being crippled by staff shortages due to the number of nurses leaving for jobs in the United Kingdom. A tattoo has been said about Ghanaian nurses regarding recruitment to the UK, the US, and other countries. And do you know that the Ministry of Health, Ghana, will be releasing the bans they place on the sales of Clevans for? Probably these are the two updates I'm going to give out in this video. So if you haven't heard what transpired over the weekend, then this video is going to give you every information you need. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Setak Majima. You can simply call me Kobe. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please and please hit the subscribe button right under this video and become part of the family so that any update that comes forth, probably you get it. Okay. And also make sure that I click the notification button, that's more by close to the subscribe button so that anytime I upload a new video, YouTube will quickly notify you to watch. Now, let's start the news with the excitement part, and that is the sales of the clearance form by the Ministry of Health. A few months ago, the Ministry of Health Ghana placed an embargo on the sales of clearance form. And since then, people have been complaining about the fact that they are willing to travel abroad to pursue their nation, but because the sales has halted, it's becoming very difficult for them to pursue that. And for whatever reason, that caused the sales of the form to be halted. Probably isn't apparent. And all I can say is that I heard a story that the Ministry of Health Ghana was demanding an amount of money from the UK government for every net to recruit from Ghana. But up to now, that deal has not been established. So a few weeks ago, or I think three days ago, I saw a letter issued by the National Medical Association of Ghana, that's the GRBN, with regards to the fact that the Ministry of Health should release the embargo because nurses with or without the clearance are trying to find their way out of the country. So the good news is that the clearance will start selling on the 19th of June, 2023. And as a matter of fact, basically, if you are buying the clearance for yourself, you need two basic requirements that is your Ghana card and your staff ID and if you are buying it on behalf of somebody what you have to do is to get the Ghana card of this person and also an authority note signifying that you are buying the clearance on behalf of the said person and the amount has been increased from 100 cities to 300 cities so you have to make yourself ready so on the 6th of June the recruitment of nurses from Ghana and other underdeveloped countries came into the news but you know Ghana was on the bigger picture because they believe that there is a massive drain drain of nurses and that is actually ruining the healthcare system. So on Mail Online, this was the headline they gave to this story. Warning over out of control hiring of foreign nurses who can earn seven times more by joining the NHS. Experts say brain drain is killing patients in badly affected countries like Ghana. The BBC apparently went back to Ghana to interview some Ghanaian nurses, probably the head of nursing department in Cape Coast as well as the Rage Hospital. Let's take a closer look at one country, Ghana. Medics there say the country's health system is being crippled by staff shortages due to the number of nurses leaving for jobs in the United Kingdom. 1,200 Ghanaian nurses joined the UK's nursing register in 2022 alone. So, 1,200 Ghanaian nurses joined the UK and register in 2022 alone. And this is becoming much more concern for most of the nursing associations in the world. And as a matter of fact, they have begun to express their concerns about this. Will this lead to something unexpected? So, a respondent from the BBC News went all down to Ghana to interview the head of nursing department in Rage Hospital. Let's see what she has to say. Capital Accra. The staff here are highly trained, but there's a fundamental problem, according to the head of nursing. Where have you brought me? I've brought you to the second floor, Greater Accra Regional Hospital. This is the main ICU. And what's the effect? Are you noticing nurses leaving? Yes, the, main, the, nurses, the ICU nurses are leaving, and they are main resource. They are those who take care of the seriously ill. They are experienced. And in fact, they are trained, you know, a lot of things went in. So if it happens that we are losing them, it's a great border to us. So after hearing the concern of the head of nursing in the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, probably this correspondent brought further to the Cape Coast Hospital. In Cape Coast, the idyllic beaches disguise the fact that this is one of Ghana's most deprived regions. Yet the main hospital here complains it's lost 22 nurses to the UK. Hola. 
critical care nurses, our experienced nurses are all gone to them. So virtually we end up having nothing, no experienced uh, staff to work with. If even the government recruits, we have to go through the pain of training so them again. the head of the ICN, which is the International Council of Nurses, had to put his force in this matter. My sense is that the situation currently is out of control. We have intense uh, recruitment taking place, mainly driven by six or seven high income countries, but with uh, recruitment from those countries who are some of the most weakest and vulnerable, who can ill afford to lose their nurses. So right from Cape Coast, they went further to one of the clinics to interview the doctor in there. And then this is why he has to see. Doctor in this small clinic fears what all this will mean for the health of his patients. The impact is enormous. Let's take services like immunization of children. If we lose public health nurses, then the babies that have to be immunized will not get the required immunization and we are going to have babies die. Then they are critical care nurses. So if you lose them, it will take time to train them. And while they are away and whilst you are training, you might get people who need services dying. And there, they had to throw the challenge to the patient with regards to the massive brain drain happening in Ghana, where nurses had to move to the UK, to the USC, and other, I mean, high-income countries to seek for greener pastures. So what do the patients themselves think? It brings hardship to them and their families. The nurses don't make any money. Talk about giving their families some. So the monetary aspect is huge. Because the nurses here are few and the patients are more, it can cause deaths in the hospitals. So if you can, please offer us help in Ghanaian hospitals. And what the UK is saying is that apparently there is no active recruitment from Ghana. So the concern that nurses are moving from Ghana to work in the UK, it's something weird. So somewhere last year in Parliament, the Ministry of Health brought up the idea that there should be an agreement between the UK government and the Ghana government in the recruitment of Ghanaian nurses. We are engaging with the government of the United Kingdom and we are just about signing a memorandum of agreement after cabinet approval to begin to send nurses, even the certificate nurses, to go for training and work there and come back home if a certificate nurse or a diploma nurse or a degree nurse apparently the idea here is that i mean the idea then was that they were establishing a formal agreement to the uk government so how they these categories of nurses to be sent to the uk to learn more to train more and then come back to ghana to utilize their knowledge to help the healthcare system but as to whether that initiation would come off no one can tell but the question I want to ask you is, imagine that this initiation has been established and you a certificate nurse, a diploma nurse, that have been pushed to the UK to work. Probably after three years, will you be willing to come back to Ghana? Leave your answer in the comment section. I want to know. So, at this point, they interviewed one specific nurse who expressed concern about the little salaries Ghanaian nurses receive. Like, our salary is nothing to write home. Within, within two weeks, you spell it. It's from hand to mouth. Probably if I should convert the amount I used to earn in Ghana, um, as at 2020, I think it was um, 200 pounds, okay? Which is probably six or seven times what a Ghanaian trained nurse earns in the UK. So basically, this is the news on board. Do you think this issue is going to flame the active recruitment in the sense that the UK government will no more be interested in even looking at Ghanaian nurses? Or do you think the initiation that the Ministry of Health probably trying to establish this kind of agreement to push nurses to the UK to work and after three years come back to Ghana? I mean, do you think this initiation would fall in perfect place? And do you also think that apparently with the intrusion of the ICN, which happens to be one of the bigger nursing associations probably in the world, would affect the way other countries recruit nurses from Ghana? Leave your suggestions, your recommendations, your ideas in the comment section and then let's discuss. So basically, these are the stuff that have transpired over the weekend.